All right, now, you know, we are a, and we talked about this earlier, the, the importance of our corners, you know, and I believe in pressing everything in terms of we want to compress the windows, we want to contest balls, we want to be aggressive, we want to, in today's offenses, mm -hmm. and a lot of things are geared to help those offenses score yeah. a lot of points. No you, you know that. And uh, so it puts a lot of pressure on us, but... Our philosophy is we're going to play aggressive, attacking, in-your-face defense. Our players love it, but you better find some corners that can they can cover. That's yeah. that's a good. <laughs> that's why we got to recruit. That's right? right. That's where recruiting comes in, and, and uh, we we got some good ones. But and then you you got uh, linebackers that are active, mm -hmm. you know. And and for us, it's to me it's it's, it's finding guys that can play fast on the run. And read and react, and and because obviously as, as the offense, and so much for us defensively is keeping it simple and changing windows, so we can make you make that guy, the guy you spend so much time with, the quarterback, um, make him have to make those post snap reads, make him uncomfortable. Exactly. That's and what it's you know, all about. A lot of these no back formations where they got five protectors, mm -hmm. you can you can do it. A great job as you are here, yes. disguising a blitz mm -hmm. with number 17, right. bringing it off the left side. Mm -hmm. You give them a muddy coverage, yeah. and then you have the confident corners that play man to man. That's a great combination. Yeah, it is. And and, and for us, you know, it's, and I'm a backers guy, and so just so much emphasis on them running the defense and playing with confidence and doing like this right here where they're, they're able to disguise and, and just play the game. I was talking about just play the game. I mean, just be able to, to make this guy here think. Make him have to process, and don't let the guy in the press box make all those plays. Well, yeah. one thing you're well known for is breaking down protections. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that linebacker covers the center, yeah. you know it's five on five. That's right. And here comes my guy off the left side mm -hmm. of the screen. A lot of times the communication isn't right. Yeah. You get a bad set by a right guard, and you take advantage. Mm -hmm. And that's good defensive football. Yeah, it is. When well, in, the, in the game has become such a third down game, mm -hmm. you know you got to get off the field. And then people would ask me because we. It's like we getting a turnover now. It is, exactly. You know? uh oh, you got to do 25. When we say the word turnover in this program on defense, you got to give me 25 push ups. I won't hold you to it, though. <laughs> so I can we, call them take, we call them takeaways. And so the reason why we call them takeaways is because it's an active aggression. Now, when you're on offense, see, now that I'm the head coach, I got to give myself a pass because our defensive guys, they're all over me if I use the T word, as we say. So um, when I'm addressing the offense, we talk about not turning the ball over, okay? But on defense, we talk about takeaways because I'm going to aggressively take the ball from you because you're not going to just give it to me. No. You, but as a defensive guy, I'm going to take it from you. We're going to rake it from you. We're going to pick it off. Tip balls or pick balls. So we have a lot of fun with that. But I promise you, they don't miss it. If I say that word, they got me on the ground doing 25 push-ups. And you know, there's a lot of people out there that are interested in yardage, That's total right. yards, That's total right. yards made, total mm -hmm. yards allowed. Number one stat, it's that T word you're it's talking about. T word. You know, you either win that battle sure. or you don't, That's but right. that has more to do with winning than losing. It does. And anything. that's why we emphasize it so much in practice, and we reward them and we hold them accountable, and we either get them or we don't. We have takeaway goals every single day, and, and it's just part of the culture. Matter of fact, we'd say takeaways, tackling, and effort. Those three things are going to allow us to be a great defense. And this is T Gray Scales right here, basically bringing pressure, but reading the protection as he's, as he's attacking. To me, this is just being in the right place. This is a huge, this is our first game of the season. My first game as defensive coordinator here at Indiana. And as the game is, it's a, it's a basically a situation here where they go down and score there within seven, but now we pick the ball off, playing the vision coverage. T. Gray here, former running back, recruit the guys that, that are the best players on the team. So he was one of those guys. Pick the ball off and go score. There's nothing better than that. Nah, nah. When we won our Super Bowl, I challenged our defense. Don't just get turnovers. Yeah, right. Score with them. Yeah. I challenged them to score yeah. nine times. There you go. And when Dwight Smith returned that last Super Bowl <laughs> in the interception, yeah. Warren Sapp said, you wanted nine, you got nine. <laughs> there you go. That's nothing That's like a defensive cool. score no. uh, yeah. to ignite a football team. Yeah. That's a great challenge. There's no question. And, and the thing about it is, like you said, good defenses create takeaways, great defenses score. And you see our sideline here going nuts. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and uh, we uh, we put a lot of effort into this, and these guys get, have a ton of fun, and that's the way it's supposed to be. So, once again, here against uh, 
against Old Nebraska. Just once, you know, our guys for me are being able to get backers here that have got instincts and can read and react and flow and finish and make plays in space. Against an athletic quarterback like this, it's big time for us. It's beautiful. Yeah. And a backside pursuit. I yeah, mean, that's you, right. you watch a backside corner, mm -hmm. you can tell a team that has great effort yeah, that's by right. the backside corner. A lot of times they never show up on tape. Yeah. When you watch Indiana play, you know yeah. it's being it's being coached. Being coached daily. Yeah. And this is the other thing I think about that concept right there is that's when we talk about LEO in our program. When you understand that it's not just about you. It ain't about me. It's about we. Mm -hmm. And you're playing for me and I'm playing for you. And when you believe that, and that's ingrained in you, and that means something to you, you're gonna bust your tail for that guy. Because it ain't about you, it's not about me, it's about we. And our kids have bought into that, and they play so hard. They play hard for each other, they play hard for their coaches, and they genuinely care about each other. I think it's pretty powerful. That's, that's awesome, and that's, that's the winning edge. It is, it is, no doubt. No doubt about it. Hey, it takes a lot of guys. It does. To win a football game. No doubt, that's so true. What other sport requires this many people? Nothing, ain't nothing, nothing like even people. close. Nothing even close. Now, I got a chance here. You're going to enjoy this guy. Marcelino Ball, freshman. I like 17 that. years old. 17? He just turned 18 here this semester. So the whole season, he's 17 years old. He started for us as a true freshman. And uh, in, this, in this league, that's tough to do. That's it's unheard of. Yeah, it is unheard of. And he, uh, he's a special kid, works his tail off, has bought into the little things here he's playing. And we call this our Husky. And that's the hybrid. He's, he's a nickel slash yeah. linebacker. That's what he is. That's what he is. He's got to be able to cover and yep. he's got to be able to collide with big people. No doubt. And this is this is a great job. 17 years old down yeah. the field. No doubt. That's like zero coverage that's here. Right. Yeah, we put a little pressure on him now. Uh, we, that's we make that's what I love play. about you. Yeah. You you either Shoot. feel pressure or you apply pressure. That's exactly right. And if you're going to play at Indiana, you got yeah. to apply it. You that's have a great to. job. You have to. Now, right here, this is grown man football right here. This was his first college football game. You know the best part of this game, this play right here. Now you can see how he's how physical he is. Oh, oh man! <laughs> yeah, how about blocking that guy? You put that on tape. Yeah, that earns. It kind of sets the tone for the rest of the season. Now, but here's the, the best part of that whole this whole play. The previous play, he made a big mistake. Gave up a big long run. He didn't flinch. He came right back. This was the very next play. It showed me we had something special. A kid like that. Being, Seventeen being years old. Yeah. Looks like a seven-year veteran. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, you know, that's great. Got that little uh, something extra about him. And has to be able to cover, like you said. And that's Plaster. the thing that's different. Plaster, when the quarterback's scrambling. Got here like Tommy Armstrong, is going to scramble around and try and make things happen. That's a great job. Yeah. Stays disciplined, good eyes, plays the ball. It's all about the ball. In our program, taking it away on defense, protecting on offense. Mm -hmm. It's all about the ball. Love it. And beating up those quarterbacks. The thing that I love about the way you play on the edges, the perimeter, is yeah. there are no quick bubble screens. No. There's no give me throws. That's right. You want to throw the ball against yeah. us? Earn it. That's right. Pass protect, get people open and, and that's that's totally what I believe in. I just think you like you said, you gotta take away the, the, the give the gimmies and you gotta make and make those throws and you gotta apply the pressure. Once again he's right here, point of attack, being physical. That's a tight end he's attacking right there. What do you call that technique? I used to call it a sternum bicep. Put one hand on his sternum, one hand on his bicep, shed him and make the tackle. Well, <laughs> you got right. a name for that technique? That's a good name. I'm going to yeah. use that. Sternum bicep? Sternum bicep, right there. Yeah. That's right. Call it what it is. That's a physical man, yeah, not giving is. ground. No and doubt. Then to make the tackle. Mm -hmm. And then look how many Hoosiers yeah, get there. That's right. I mean, that's, that defense. to me is. Effort, uh, effort, effort. LEO, there it is right there, playing hard for each other. Flying around. They bought in. The buy-in is high around this place. I love it. It's been this way all spring, too. Doesn't matter what we do. Special teams drills, yeah, offense, that's... defense. Kids are playing hard. Love it. Little Jonathan Crawford, another Florida, another Florida guy. I like Out of Largo. We love, we love the state of Florida. We recruit down there well. And we got to keep bringing guys up here from we do. Florida we do. to Bloomington. No doubt. We got a little pop line running. Let me see this Crawford. Here he creates a takeaway. Number nine, playing safety force. He's a sophomore. We spend so much time raking the ball. Oh. 
and he recovers it. Huge play in this game, in our bowl game. Let's give him three stickers for that. That's right, no doubt. He tackled the football, mm -hmm. right? And this is the other thing about this. Last spring, he led our team in takeaways during spring football. He led our team in takeaways during the season. Direct correlation. Practice creates game day habits. You know, there's certain guys that are ball magnets. Yep. And it's not an accident. No doubt. You're they just right. have a feel for it. They practice it. Mm -hmm. They take pride in it. And that, that stuff's contagious. It is. You know, you keep yeah. giving Crawford all the great job, great yeah. job, great job. Pretty soon, the other guys say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get involved in this. That's right. And it's, it's a contagious down. thing. But look at him go in there, form that guy up, and strip that yeah. ball out. That's almost clinic real mm -hmm. stuff right there. It is, especially in transition when the, when the ball carrier is on the way down. We know that's when a lot of these takeaways occur. And so we emphasize that. And he's bought into that concept as well. So once again, right here, another takeaway opportunity in a big game for us against Purdue. Had the opportunity to beat him four times in a row for the first time in 70 years. How about that? And these kids bought into that concept of being able to make history in that area. And, and it was a tough fought game as they always are against those guys. And, and this is a huge play in this game. Great job driving on the ball. Well, you can win the Oaken bucket. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. When yeah. you can win the old Oak and Bucket four straight times, try winning it five straight times. That's right. That's the, that's you know, you the expectation. These, you get these bunch formations, mm -hmm. though. Yeah. He's got to have some idea how to key that, right? He does. And we work hard on that. I'll bet. The different you combinations and, and Look getting how you sort right. that out yeah. with 44 or 9. Right. You guys mm -hmm. have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Yeah. And score with it. That's right. Go score. Block the intended receiver. We'll block the quarterback. Great thing. That's right. Good stuff. Take the ball away. That's what it's about. Takeaways, tackling, and effort. Here against Penn State. Beautiful Saturday in Bloomington. Mm. Once again, always getting our hands on the balls. Love the way our team attacks the football. Great Look man coverage. Your, Look at your two corners on the mm -hmm. outside. They're great. That's right where your eyes went, didn't it? I mean, that's yeah. a beautiful thing yeah. right there. I yeah. mean, if you're the quarterback, that's right. you, you got to feel the blitz. Mm -hmm. You, you got to get to your quick receiver, and there's just nowhere to go. Yeah, that's right. Coach is doing a great job. Players playing hard, playing with technique. Speaking of corners, Rashard Fan, one of the best corners in the country. Does a great job, great feet, quick hands. Great anticipation. Swagger. Gotta have swagger out there. Gotta believe, no matter what, that's my ball. Mm. My ball. Yeah, like the intended receiver. Boy, is that great. Yeah. See, that's almost that's almost like watching Indiana practice right there. That's right. Ball's intercepted. Mm -hmm. It's like a pursuit drill, that is. right? Exactly right. Score with your man. Yep, go score the ball. We're looking for guys to block. Oh, that's a beautiful yeah, thing. It's great. These these bump and run corners. I was out in Oakland with Al Davis for mm -hmm. four years. They're famous for playing that old fashioned bump and run, mm -hmm. you know. And there's a commitment to the techniques. Yeah. There's a commitment to challenging the receiver. Mm -hmm. And there's also a commitment to challenge yourself. That's right. You know, the great ones, like your guy here, he, you know he has that in him to challenge himself on a down by down basis and take nobody lightly. They just they just they just have that ability to not one snap off because you can't take no, a snap off. No. It's a it's a tough way to play, but I, I believe in it and our, our guys believe in it as well. And, uh, and like you said, you got it's a commitment. You can't just do it part of the time. You got to yeah. invest in it, and and, and everything kind of comes from that look and allows you to really create uh, a lot of situations that, that puts more pressure on the offense to, to be perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what we're, once again, there it is. Another big opportunity wow. in the bowl game. Great position on top of the receiver. Tracking the ball. Now, he, he led the nation in past breakups. Now, I don't know if it's because he can't catch or if he's got great hands, but, but uh, no, seriously, he does a tremendous job and, and just really, uh, um, is always around the ball when it's in the air. You know, when you get a great corner who gets a great reputation, 
a lot of times these guys get mm-hmm. frustrated yeah. because now they don't get action. That's right. Because the smart coaches, mm-hmm. they go offensive guys, they work the other way. That's right. So what we got to do is we got to keep challenging him yeah. to challenge himself mm-hmm. just like he did when he came in here as a true freshman. That's right. You know, just keep earning your earning your meals every day. You know, I think that's big because you know the, the, mm-hmm. the highly decorated guys see less and less action. That's right. There's no doubt. Once again, another cluster, a bunch formation. See a lot of that. I like the communication I see from your defense. These offenses, they're all looking to the sideline. They're changing plays. But when I watch IU play defense, there's a lot of communication going on, isn't there? There is. We we spend a lot of time on it. Another tip ball. Man, this should have been a pick. I'd have been big in this one. Tip balls or pick balls. But, but to me, mm-hmm. the communication piece, loud and confident is what we talk about all the time. And they got to be loud and confident. And that's walkthroughs, meeting time. You know, as you know, meeting time, walkthroughs, you win games in those sessions. And we, we convince our twos when they stand 15 yards behind the, the ball and the walkthrough with their toes on the line, attention to detail, and they're locked into every call. Because you never know if that, that walkthrough rep could be a rep to win us the game. Mm-hmm. And, and you got to get them, they got to think that way. And if they believe you, and it, it always takes time to get to that point, but we're to that point now, and they, they bought into that idea. It, it's how you change the game, because you're going to have to play multiple guys. Not every kid's going to get every single rep in practice. You offensive guys do so much stuff now, and doing it such a tempo, it makes it tough. But uh, even here, just sorting it out and you know, breaking on the ball and getting ourselves a chance to get another takeaway. Recognizing formations, I'm mm-hmm. sure you're looking at line splits. Yep. You know the down and distance. That's right. You know what you take from the walkthrough, what you take from the meeting room to the grass. Yep. Uh, preparation, mm-hmm. big part of this defense, isn't it? It is. As our guys will tell you, they know it. Preparation creates confidence, and that preparation piece is, is huge for us. And, and uh, they learned to make it be the difference. Thank you, play great defense. That's why. Yeah, that's, right. that's why we're lucky to have you here, Coach. I appreciate it, appreciate, it, appreciate yeah. you being yeah. here. Looking forward to watching this spring game, Absolutely. and you know, it's, it's it's just exciting to see where Indiana football is and where you're going to take it. And uh, just know that down at the mm-hmm. FCA, man, we're yeah. going to be pulling for you all the time. If there's ever anything I can do, I don't hesitate it. to shoot me a text or give me a call. I sure will. Thank you for being here, buddy. Go IU, man. Go IU. All right, Elio. Yeah. <laughs> <Love it. laughs>